I wanted to do a very quick video about um, polyhydra, let me get this right, polyhydramnios. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is basically a condition where you have an excess amount of amniotic fluid during your uterus and labour. And this is a question that came up in the class tonight. And basically, in itself, it's not necessarily a problematic condition. It can mean, depending on how much extra fluid you have, it can mean that you can measure big um, for your dates, but your baby's actually fine. You can also find that because you've got less capacity in your um, in your body cavity, because th there's more space being taken up by uterus, you can feel like quite breathless, um, which is something that you feel in later pregnancy anyway. You can have a lot of heartburn. It can affect your digestion with a bit of constipation and you can retain fluid with swollen ankles and feet. So these are symptoms that often come hand in hand with this condition. Now, during pregnancy itself, it's not necessarily a problem. You are at a slightly higher risk of um, having a breech baby um, because with the extra fluid, sometimes your baby can find it difficult to get into exactly the right position. Um, if your baby's already head down, then you're kind of like, um, you know, it's looking good. There is also an increased risk of a situation where when your waters break your baby's cord gets in the way of their head and basically their head will get trapped between uh, the cervix and the baby's head and it's not um and it can even um sort of come out of the cervix first before the rest of the body and if that happens it's not very common but if it does happen it can have quite serious consequences because effectively we're cutting off the baby's um, life support system by the cord being compressed. So if this happened um, during your labour and you would be monitored extremely closely during labour, particularly at the point where your waters were breaking, if there was any concern about your baby, then intervention would undoubtedly um, happen. It could be that they were, um, might manipulate your baby's head manually to try to um, move out of the way, or you might find that you're having an emergency cesarean. But there's every chance that you'll have an absolutely normal delivery. There is also a risk that you might find that you have some bleeding after the birth um, and complications with your uterus because it's been stretched more than it might have been. Um, and there is also a risk as well that your waters might break a little bit early, um, which can lead to having an early delivery. So there are some risks associated with this condition, but overall, the general advice actually is not to worry too much about it um, and that you will probably be advised um, to have your baby in hospital and you will probably be in a, a higher risk unit just so that if your baby needed help, help would be ready and at hand at a moment's notice. So hopefully you will feel reassured and you would be offered scans um, in the later weeks of your pregnancy to assess where the cord is, what position your baby is in and, you know, take another assessment of the risks of any of those things happening. So um, I hope that this is a reassuring little video and I will include a whole bunch of articles um, in the comments section to um, give you a bit of further reading. So some of them are quite general and some of them are a bit more academic. There might be studies around that just to give you um, a bit more information around it. But with all of these things, um, the fact that you had excess fluid in your uterus does not necessarily mean that those other things are going to happen. It just increases some of your risk factors. So it's always important to understand the risk um, in terms of of the actual percentages they're talking about rather than thinking that it doubles or triples or whatever you know have a look at the figures work closely with your midwife and there's every reason um, to believe that you will have a straightforward labor and birth